if you're out there struggling, you need somebody to reach out and take your hand and help you along. Learning differences are a, a hidden handicap. I don't really like to call it a handicap because it's not. It's learning differently, but it's something that you can't see. Uh, and, and a lot of times as a parent, it's something you can't even put your finger on. Pretty much when you, you're at a really low point in your life because you want to help your child and you see him struggling and you see him, um, you know, spiraling out of control and it's a very scary feeling. But I didn't know what all was out there that could help my daughter. I'm going to borrow uh, something that my son said when he said, when I was in kindergarten I was at 100% and then when I was in first grade I was at 90%. Second grade was 80, now I'm in third at 70, and he said, and I'm worried about fourth grade. I have a daughter who had a seizure disorder when she was younger, and then really struggled to, to walk and to talk and to learn information. But his problem was dyslexia. You know, he would look at the page that all the other kids were reading, and, and it was, you know, he would say, Mommy, the words are moving around, or, you know, Mommy, where's, if I just had a pencil, I could get through that maze. I'm like, you're supposed to be reading that page. But he couldn't do it. There wasn't one place you could go and find out about everything until Kids in April. Beth McGall, who is the one who helped create Kids in April, began with hunting and searching for people to help her son. And through that love, she gathered more and more people who love children and who want to make their lives better. We were basically trying to take away the mystery and the stigma and, and, and say Atlanta is a huge city with so many resources and we'll help you find them. It is scary, no doubt it's scary, but you have to just take a deep breath and look in there and, and look into your heart and um, you just have to just take a leap of faith, really. They're, they're so intelligent in so many ways, but the standard box that they're asked to fit in is not working for them. And they could go on to, to do incredible things if we can discover the right accommodations and the right interventions. You see that parents, especially parents without a lot of money, uh, come in and they're looking for a resource and we're a good resource for them. So you can, you can see that it puts a lot of families, moms in particular, at ease. If it makes a difference in their life and makes the parent life easier, uh, it will, in essence, make the child's life a bit easier as well. My mom learned about Kids Enabled. She found so many different things from like tutors to advice, any trouble that I would have with my education she could use Kids Enable to find an answer or find in another place that could give her an, an answer and it just built and built and it's been awesome. It opened a whole new world. When a parent has a child, when someone brings a child to the world, they want to give that child the tools to have them have the best life possible. When I was 17 and I started, I took my standard, first SAT, ACT standardized testing and I realized I couldn't finish the exam. Kids Enabled had so much support and they were so helpful that they connected me to all the resources I need to get me through it. And it's been a great experience. It's helped my child find confidence and, um, and peace within his own soul. In my scores, I mean, they went up so much higher and I got into my first college of choice, so it was great. There is a need for a resource. We have the resource for the Atlanta area and our hope and goal is to spread it throughout the whole United States. When you look at technology and everything we do today is online, um, our reach is in Atlanta any longer. It's global. We can reach a lot of those parents now without the additional cost of having offices around the country. Uh, it just makes reaching the families that have these kids uh, a little easier. We have to exist. We, we have to continue. But we keep building. The coolest thing that we have going now is the Friends of Kids and Animals. We have a scholarship fund for kids. It's not for school. It's for therapies and different interventions, camps for kids um, with learning differences. People can go online and 
apply and it just gives me a great deal of hope to see us be able to take that's our next step forward is to be able to offer scholarships. But the core of it all is good quality, informative articles, informative blogs, ideas, and guidance. Because if you're out there struggling, you need somebody to reach out and take your hand and help you along. All we want is for children to succeed. We want to give them the power and the tools that they need to live fulfilled, successful lives.